problem. See, the problem is we don't have people who are aware of they don't, uh, they're not allowing themselves to really understand Deacon Ty, Sister Kelly, where it is God is trying to take me because I've only been taught uh, if I work hard then I get a fat paycheck when God has said what you need to do is teach somebody else how to work for you. Yeah. Sit down, y'all. Don't make me pull up my Creflo Dollar card. <laughs> when you get older, you ought to start getting wise. You ought to start understanding where your spirit and how God operates and how God wants you to operate in this world. You should be using the power of your mind to create wealth. Not your degree. That's the reason why you're in school. Because somebody decided that if I teach what somebody think they don't know, then I can make money. Oh. Please don't be offended by this right here. People love to make money off of a fool. If you can find a fool, you'll always be rich. <laughs> because see, a fool don't know that they're more valuable than what? You got men who won't date women. They're hateful. We know that. Y'all scared, scared the way y'all hands are here say, you got women who won't look for a man that is focused and spiritual. She got to find herself. Uh -huh. You see, you yeah, yeah, see, you got people who look for the food. You got pastors who build accommodations off of being packed wall to wall with food. Don't teach me that I am Jesus. Make me always look for Him. Because if I'm always looking for Him, then I can do anything on Monday. And praise God all day on Sunday. But if you teach me I am God, even when I step in the club, the spirit may speak to me and say, get out of here as quick as you got it. You see, when I shake hands with people, God is saying, baby, that's not only your friend, but it's also your enemy. Get what you need right now from them while you can and leave them alone. I can get them right here and I can get on the inside of you. So, 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 here, the older you get, you ought to not have 10 and 12 jobs. The older you get, you ought to not be still writing down your dream. That means you're wasting time with God's time, and you don't want to fast and pray. You want an emotional high. You want to go somewhere where people stroke your dream. And people don't pay money to a dream. People pay money to something that's manifested. You mean to tell me, now I want to see who's going to jump over here. I got one, two, three. Listen, you mean to tell me you want to get money to somebody that's talking about a cell phone? No, show me the cell phone, baby. I come this graduation day. Everybody got a spiritual cap and gown on today. The There's no way that you're going to keep selling me a dream. And say that Jesus is on the inside of you and you're not manifested one day, when are you going to go back to school and stop talking about school? Come on. When are you going to start your ministry and stop talking about your ministry? When are you going to feed somebody and stop talking about the Lord showed me one day that I was feeding no one thousand? <laughs> Tell somebody the older you get, the wiser you are to get. Young people are supposed to sweat. Young people are supposed to work hard. I would tell my grandmother, she, she said, you going to school? I said, um, she said, well, then you're going to get another job because you're young. And see, grandma can say it different than my mom. You know, mama said like this, I know you ain't home at... I know you ain't home at... I got to remember, I know, I know you ain't coming in the house at. Don't you got to get up in the morning? 
But where am I saying stuff like this? You coming in mighty late? You have a job in the morning. Grandma can say to you, Young people are supposed to work. Everybody under the age of 30, lift your hand. Stand up on your feet. Every last one of you ought to be working and paying time. You ought to be working and paying time. Many of you are paying your tithes to people who you can't get no return from. Look at each other and say, Yo, I know Pastor talking to me. Stop paying money to people you can't get no return from. Only thing you're going to get from the weed man is just a high for a moment. Can't get no return from that. You got to start investing in things that you're going to see the sweat that you worked so hard for come back up into your face. Yes. Are you here? Yes. Have a seat. You see, you have power to create wealth. What did I say? I did not say you're supposed to work for wealth. I said you have power to create wealth. What did I say? I did not say you're supposed to work hard for your money. I said you have power to create wealth. What did I say? Yeah. What I'm trying to get you to understand is that you're supposed to have a job along with doing your other stuff. You're supposed to have a nine to five along with being able to do some hair. Y'all ain't got nothing going on. Come on, you're supposed to have your job along with being able to keep somebody else built together. You're supposed to have a nine to five along with being able to hold a microphone and sing somewhere for somebody and make a couple of dollars. You're supposed to have your nine to five along with going in your kitchen making somebody a birthday cake who can't. Y'all ain't got an entrepreneur up in this house. Where they are. 